Hello everybody and welcome to the Sleepy Dream Tour of a deserted island which is uh, very quite interesting. I've been wanting to tour this for a little while now um, but I've been waiting for the opportunity to record a YouTube video. So here we are, I believe the island name is Newbark. I will be posting the creator's uh, socials in the description below so if you want to visit this island for yourself and experience it you're more than welcome to and uh, all the information that you need will be in the description so <laughs> right off the bat we also have, we have oh okay there's a lot of cliffs so we have kyle which i have kyle myself so i'm not sure if he'll i did not mean to do that i wanted to speak to him i wonder if he'll recognize me I mean, who even are you? No, he does not. Okay. Alright, I know in New Leaf they used to recognize you. Okay, so it looks like we have... Oh my goodness. It looks like we have a little bizarre area over here. I just wonder if we can get to it. Okay, so maybe this is the way we're supposed to go. Because it looks like this is the residential area and like i said the bazaar area where you can find all sorts of different clothing accessories maybe food as well they also have the campsite over here that's really sweet oh and of course they have to have this little cypress bath that they believe it's called all right so i really like the designs they have all over the floor they're, they're great oh i didn't even know that this was a little area you can lie down on so hopefully we come across some clothes that uh, will help us fit the aesthetic of this island but um i like how they have everything elevated and it looks so realistic they with the cardboard boxes and the the pot right here with the um wooden wash tub i believe it's called it's amazing Oh, and they have a house down there. We'll have to have, have a look at that. Oh my gosh, there's just so many places I want to go. Oh, so this is the museum. I love it so much. This is crazy. Can we fit around there? No, we can't. Alright, so. Oh, and we have a little spa area. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I'm 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 scaring away all the rare beetles. And we have a have a person down on the beach. I'm not sure if we can get there, but we'll see. This is so cool. This is absolutely phenomenal. And I love the time of day as well. Oh my gosh, I can feel myself getting lost already, and that's not necessarily a bad thing at all okay so this is the entrance from the airport and this is what you'll see firsthand oh my gosh this is incredible so if we go back this way i think we'll hopefully we'll find that area with the clothes because i do want to well there is a house down here actually isn't there oh there's a tent as well oh there's a few t oh my gosh there is a lot of tents so Wow, so a fortune telling area, maybe? And maybe the, the, these are the uh, little tents for the bazaar owners, little store area. Okay, so let's go and see what's inside this house first. I'm so excited to tour this because I've never seen anything like it before and honestly I can assume so much. Oh wow. So much creativity has gone into this island already and they have said that it is a work in progress on Twitter so please bear that in mind um, but so far I think it's it's incredible the little details even a simple room like this and I think it would have been even better if they if they turned the lights off in this room you know but hey I still love it nonetheless so I am not complaining I love sleeping under the stars 
Also, I'm sorry if you can hear any background noise. I do have to record this with my windows open simply because it is too hot right here in the UK. We're having a little bit of a heat wave, so I do apologize if you can hear any dogs barking or any cars or anything like that. Um, okay, so they're obviously still working on this room right here. So for me, that room kind of looks like a temple. Well, even this room as well, so maybe it is eventually going to be some sort of temple who knows i mean we haven't even met the owner of the house yet oh my gosh i love this this flooring i really do i've never seen it before this is great this is really great i can imagine i'm going to see a lot of things that i've never seen before in this island simply because i'm not going for the desert theme myself i go for more of a um witchy forest theme if you're interested in me doing a town tour of my own island please let me know because that is easily done and i'm more than happy to do that okay so this is the photos they've got so far of the villages i believe i wonder what this house is going to be and maybe there's something in the basement we'll have a look i can assume there's not going to be much in the tents uh yeah okay they're still working on this house that's quite all right i mean there's t there's lots of stuff to explore outside so that's not a problem all right so Maybe if we go back up this way, hopefully we can find that area with the... Oh gosh, my switch is lagging a little bit. I don't know if you can notice that. But it's a lot for my switch to handle right now. It's running a little bit slower than normal. So what residents do they have? I don't think I've quite looked at the map yet. So, wow, okay. This is really, really interesting. Oh my goodness. Wow, I've never seen anything like it before in my life. So this is the residential area, of course. Um, this looks like it's going to be the only elevated area of the island. So they have Kyle, they have Coco, Chief, Lucky, Clay, Pashmina, Savannah, Avery, Zell, and Anka, of course. They all look like they should belong in a desert. That's brilliant. Okay, so it seems like we can't go that way. Oh, I assume this is Coco's house. This is so sweet. Oh, this area is so... I don't know. I just love it. The creativity and the the design of this island is really good. Okay, so we can go down here. I believe that's Lucky's house. Lucky is my all-time favorite villager. I adore him so much. A little, is this like a little uh, rug market? Oh, I, oh my gosh, I love this. That's so creative. <laughs> oh, so we can, so. Ooh, a desert princess outfit. Don't mind if I do. And a veil and a turban. That's where there's. Okay, let's get into something a little bit more comfortable for this island. Oh my gosh, we look incredible. We look like Link from uh, Breath of the Wild. <laughs> oh my gosh, I did not know that this was a thing. Oh, we still have our log backpack on. That's okay. But now we're more suited for the island. Oh my gosh, the, the rug market. This is just absolutely insane. I can't. I've never seen anything like it, so I'm sorry if I'm just wowing over this island. Okay, so I think we should... Can we venture out to the to the desert from here? Ooh. There should be a way to get round to the desert. Did we go up here? Oh. Ah, so this is the way to the desert. This is... Oh my gosh. Look at you, Savannah traversing the desert maybe they they might do like a i'm not sure a breath of the wild reference i i definitely would if i was going for something like this i couldn't i could not 
you know, I couldn't not. Okay, so they've completely flattened their island. Oh, this is crazy. This is so fun. <laughs> so the, the secret beach must be around here. So oh, hello. A merchant. Oh, nice. A merchant is, is um, exploring the rest of the desert, which is quite interesting. Oh, nice. Nice little... <laughs> oh my gosh, I love the little beetles as well. It's the small things that make this look so much better. Okay, so I assume this is another merchant. Yep. Oh my gosh, I did not even... I did not even know that was... Heck, I am so sorry. Let's go and talk to Lucky. I have to talk to him. He calls me sexy mama. Oh my, did I just read that correct? I I'll have to have a look once though I've finished this recording but that is so funny <laughs> oh okay so that a little rundown area so if we I assume it'll look better from from far away definitely it looks like an old abandoned building that's great I oh, so they're doing like this forced perspective thing, I assume. I mean, we, we can we can be we can be in the picture, right? That's incredible. I it genuinely looks like an old abandoned factory from here. So let's go and explore. Oh my gosh, it's so rusty. Is, is this like a, a, a prison? Am I am I reading this wrong? A prison, sort of, maybe? I don't think it's a prison, no. Uh, so this is, of course, this makes sense. It's next to uh, Jolly Red's ship. So it makes sense for this abandoned... Well, it looks abandoned anyway. I don't know. It could be very much in use. <laughs> Who am I to, to judge? they done anything on this little rock here well big rock anyway no i can't we need to go come back and visit this island again once the creator has said that they have finished it or that you know it's near enough complete because like i said this is a work in progress so there are going to be unfinished pieces in this oh hello Oh, that's such a good attention to detail. I I would never even think of putting down, um, have they got like a rotten turnip or something behind here? Yes, they have. They've got spoiled turnips. I would never think to do that to add to the whole island aesthetic. I, honestly, th this person is so creative. I just cannot get over it. Okay, so hopefully we run into the island creator's character that would be interesting see what they have to say but i believe i saw someone wandering around down here oh they have a shark the temptation is real <laughs> oh oh no i think this is just another merchant so i think is there three merchants oh hello speaking of dream on little dreamer oh my gosh that's so sweet i love their little headdress and what they're wearing that's great whereas we look like link from from breath of the wild <laughs> the singular butterfly is great i just can't get over how amazing this is i wonder what else they're going to add to it you know is there anything else down here let's have a look oh they have a fossil oh maybe they're gonna do something with the flowers or maybe this is just gonna be like a a little garden area eventually who knows i wonder oh they could definitely do something with the river but it's entirely up to them i mean i probably would have a tiny bit of a river just to like i guess represent the river nile is it i believe um so that i think that would be interesting 
And oh, look at all these golden roses. I wonder what they're going to do with all these. Oh, and we have another... Oh, no. We can't even go in there. Oh, no. Oh, I love how they're clipping through that sign. We can't even go in there. It's under... It's a work in progress, unfortunately. And of course, we have to have a pyramid. I wonder if they're going to keep that here or if they're going to move this like onto the sand, maybe. Is there anything on the dock? Oh, there's a surfboard. Oh, this is incredible. I love it. So I guess we should quickly go and check what's in the merchant's homes. I doubt there's any going to be anything spectacular in there. Because like I said, it is a work in progress. Um, and they are only merchants. They're probably there for customization. Uh, you know, like the extra design slots and stuff like that. Oh, we haven't even seen the flag. Oh my gosh. Is that is that a Pokemon? I don't play Pokemon, um, so correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like one. Uh, I did try a demo of Pokemon, but I just could not get into it, you know? I just wanted to explore, and then I consistently ran into Pokemon. I was just like, please, please let me explore, and I just got sick and tired of it. So um, I did not like that one bit. I wonder if they are gonna add like a uh ah uh, yes of course they're gonna add a fortune teller character i think that would be really interesting maybe deep into the desert or maybe just on the beach who knows but we'll definitely have to explore this uh once it's more complete and stuff but i've had so much fun exploring it nonetheless it's so creative and it's such an amazing start to to such a beautiful island i think Okay, so I think we should make our way back to Luna. Um, like I said in my previous video, um, I do stream on Twitch Tuesdays and Fridays at 3pm BST. Um, I stream a lot of Animal Crossing, um, Legend of Zelda included. Um, I'm going to get really lost here. Um, yeah, just a ton of variety in Nintendo games. So if that sounds like your cup of tea, please drop me a follow over there. I am much more active over on there. Um, please send all the creator all the love, all the support for their amazing creation. Um, thank you so much for watching. All of my social medias, if you want to follow me on any of them, the links are in, in my description below. Thank you so much for watching, friends, and have a wonderful rest of your day, your evening, wherever you are. And hopefully I shall see you in the next one. Bye! Then you, 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 you,